What's up Gators, my name is Derek Corona and I'm your SBA Senator and I also play on Varsity Baseball. I hope you guys really enjoy this week's segment of Gator News. Okay Gators, we're going to have a subscribe to our YouTube channel contest. The following video is being played on our Gators YouTube channel. So if you guys share the flyer that's going to be posted after I'm talking, and if you guys share it on your social media or the school's account, you will be entered in a giveaway to win a free yearbook. Gators, today, March 1st, please come out and support your Goldman football team at Chipotle from 5 to 9. Some of the proceeds will go to your Goldman football team to help support them. Please, we all want to see you there, your Goldman football family. Thank you. Tomorrow, March 2nd, our JV cheerleading team will be having a fundraiser at Chipotle from 5 to 9. Please go and support them so they can better support you. Please say JV cheer or show them the flyer at the cashier to support the cheerleaders. Thank you, the cheerleading family. Attention all juniors and seniors. Registration for the April ACT is now open. The test day will be on April 17th, 2021. Deadline to apply is Friday, March 12th. If you need a waiver, please see Ms. Zare. Remember, you can use your ACT for your FSA concordance score if needed. Don't delay and please register today. And now, a video from your Gator Talks Club. Many of you started the Rack Challenge on February 17th. And on this day, you committed to 21 consecutive days of kindness. Today, Monday, March 1st, would mark 13 days of your Rack Challenge. You still have one more week to go. If you have not started, it's not too late. I hope that you are enjoying spreading kindness and that you have seen the difference it makes. If you haven't, don't worry. Kindness is never wasted and it always finds its way back to you. If you are looking for ideas for your next act of kindness, I want to share some with you. Compliment a friend, thank a teacher, wash your parents' car, pay for a stranger's meal, remind someone you are there for them, listen while someone tells you about their day, and tell someone they look extra nice today. After a very successful United Way campaign, Kindness Challenge, and Black History Celebration, I leave you with the inspirational words of Coretta Scott King. The greatness of a community is most accurately measured by the compassionate actions of its members. Thank you. And finally, Gators, this past Thursday, the boys and girls track team opened their season with victories. The girls were led by Ayala Rose with first place in the 100 meter and the 200 meter. Nocor Rodriguez, first place in the 400 meter. And Kayla Lewis, first place in the 1600 meter. The score was Goldman 78 points, Central 46 points, Crop 42 points, Carroll City 24 points. The girls are 3 0 starting off their season. And now your sports schedule for this week. March 1st, Monday, the boys volleyball team take on HGA at 3.30 and 5 p.m. Also, the flag football team plays downtown Doral Charter at HMO at 4 p.m. Tuesday, March 2nd, tennis plays a home match versus HMO at 3 p.m. Water Polo also has a match against Matter Lakes at PSN at 3.30 and at 4.30. Also, flag football has a game versus Miami Beach at 3.30. Wednesday, March 3rd, the baseball team takes on Flanagan at Flanagan at 6.30. Please remember to wear your mask. Thursday, March 4th, Badminton takes on Central at 3 p.m. Flag Football also takes on Miami High at 4 p.m. at HMO. Boys Volleyball also takes on Avantgarde at 4 p.m. Friday, March 5th, the baseball team has a home game at, versus MacArthur at 3.30. Saturday, March 6th, our JV baseball team has a game versus Champagnat at 10 a.m. and 12.30. Hope to see all you guys at these events and games. Please remember to social distance and keep your mask on at all times. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's segment of Gator News and have a great week. This is Derek Corona signing off.